Hello. I'm going to introduce you to hypophosphatasia. Hypophosphatasia, or HPP, is a rare inherited metabolic bone disease, whose clinical symptoms are highly variable, ranging from profound lack of mineralization of bone, with death occurring prior to delivery, to early loss of teeth in adulthood as the only sign. Still, other affected individuals may have characteristic biochemical abnormality, with no outward clinical signs of the disorder. While others have multiple fractures, with little to no trauma that causes fractures throughout their lives. Hypophosphatasia is due to a consistently low levels of an important enzyme in the body called alkaline phosphatase or ALP. An enzyme building block that bonds with other minerals to make bones strong. Hypophosphatasia HPP, is caused by mutations within the ALP gene. This enzyme plays an essential role in mineralization of the skeleton and teeth. Mutations in the ALPL gene lead to the production of an abnormal version of ALP that cannot participate effectively in the mineralization process. A shortage of ALP allows several other substances, B6 and calcium, which are normally processed by the enzyme, to build up abnormally in the body. Prevalence of the disease. It has been estimated that the severe forms of hypophosphatasia HPP, occur in approximately 1 per 100,000 live births. The more mild childhood and adult forms are probably somewhat more common. In most cases HPP is inherited in an autosomal recessive inheritance pattern, which means both parents may appear to be healthy, but can still carry one defective gene in their cells. Though there is not always a clear distinction between these official forms, the medical and scientific communities have used the following classification for a very long time. 1. Perinatal 2. Infantile 3. Childhood 4. Adult onset 5. Odontohypophosphatasia 6. Pseudohypophosphatasia 1. Perinatal is the most severe form. Common symptoms of perinatal may include Profound skeletal hypomineralization that may result in deformed limbs, or a complete lack of skeletal formation. Respiratory difficulties due to undermineralized ribs, hypotonic, vitamin B6 responsive seizures, long term survival is very rare, and stillbirths are common. Cranium stenosis is also a common symptom. 2. Infantile onset occurs between birth and six months of age. Common symptoms of infantile may include inadequate weight gain, failure to thrive, deformities of the bones, with curving or shortened limbs, reoccurring fractures with no trauma, x-rays showing healed fractures. Stenosis of the cranial sutures may occur. The illusion of open frontal respiratory compromise due to undermineralized ribs. Hypotonic. Vitamin B6 responsive seizures. Increased levels of calcium hypercalciuria can lead to renal compromise and episodes of recurrent vomiting after eating. About 50% of affected children have been reported to die during infancy, usually from severe respiratory failure and from central nervous seizures. 3. Childhood Common symptoms may include premature loss of baby teeth before age 5, delayed walking, a softening of bones in children leading to fractures and deformity which is predominantly caused by a vitamin deficiency. Rickett under mineralized and deformed bone resulting in short stature and curved long bones. Knockneys. Hypermobile joints. Bone pain. Fractures are common. Low blood levels of alkaline phosphatase and either high B6 or normal B6 hypotonia. A very significant waddling gait also called a Charlie Chaplin gait. 4. Adult onset. Common signs may include undermineralized bone mistaken for severe osteoporosis. Osteomalacia bones know as the adult form of rickets. Recurring fractures in feet and partial fractures in the femur and hips called pseudofractures. Chronic pain. Premature loss of adult teeth may suffer from clinical evident acute inflammation of synovial joints that resembles gouty arthritis, or pseudogout. Sudden, severe pain in joints caused by crystals in the joints lining. 
history of mild rickets in children leading to fractures and deformity. 5. O.O.Ipophosphatasia, the most common signs are periodontal ligaments are affected by the lack of alkaline phosphatase binding the ligament to the dentin of the tooth, causing loose teeth, and their lack of stability makes the teeth easier to fall out. Root absorption and large pulps cavity are a clinical sign of HPP. Long roots can also be observed. Chips and cracks in teeth may happen with very little stress. Infections are common. Gum pockets around the tooth may make look like the lack of dental hygiene. When in fact the teeth and mouth are well cared for. 6. Pseudo, or false, hypophosphatasia benign in utero. This is an especially rare clinical form documented in only a few infants. The physical features all resemble those seen in the infantile form of the disease. However, in contrast to all of the other forms of hypophosphatasia, the total alkaline phosphatase activity has been consistently normal. Some have even shown and increased in blood samples from the affected children. It is unclear what the exact biochemical or molecular abnormality are in these children. Laboratory testing. Alkaline phosphatase, low levels of alkaline phosphatase in the blood. In general, the lower the ALP level, the more severe the clinical symptoms of HPP. Pyridoxal 5 phosphate PLP, B6. Elevated PLP level in the blood is the most sensitive marker for HPP and often correlates with the disease severity. Phosphothenolamine P, elevated level of P is observed in most HPP patients' urine. Urinary and organic. Pyrophosphate P, P, I, elevated P levels is observed in most HPP patients and have been reported to accurately detect carriers, although this test is typically only used in research. Genetic analysis. HPP is caused by mutations in the ALPL gene which is the only gene known to be associated with the disease. Approximately 300 distinct mutations have been described in the literature, and mutation analysis is available in several laboratories around the world. The gene SALP is located near the tip of the short arm of chromosome 1 at band 1P36.1-P34. Mutations in this gene are responsible for both the autosomal recessive and autosomal dominant forms of hypophosphatasia. It is not yet entirely clear how the mutations in the tissue non-specific alkaline phosphatase gene cause the impaired mineralization of bone. Recent work has shown that the type of mutation and its location within the gene both have an effect on the severity of the disease. Prognosis. Due to the large number of genetic mutations on the ALPO gene that have been identified so far, many different variations can occur in the individual patients. It is very difficult to predict what natural course HPP will take in each patient. In fact it has been said that no two patients with HPP are identical. Though there are many common features, a reliable long-term prognosis for a patient is yet hardly feasible. There seems to be other factors, besides the actual genetic mutations, that can take influence on the course of the disease. What these factors are and how they impact the patient's lives remains unclear. Another phenomenon that makes a prognosis so difficult is the fact that HPP can change its severities over a person's lifetime. Some patients can present with mild symptoms during their childhood, like achy, swollen joints or weak muscles, only to suddenly develop a severe form of osteomalacia, soft, brittle bones, in their adult life. Treatment. There is no cure for HPP currently. Scientists are developing an enzyme replacement therapy as in trials. The ERT will help the body use the missing ALP. For now, HPP is treated primarily by managing fractures, and with active physical therapy, to promote as much mobility. Care is mainly directed toward the prevention or correction of disease-related complications. Expert dental care is highly recommended for those individuals with dental abnormalities. Physical therapy and orthopedic management are important in the care and treatment of bone complications such as fractures. Young children with infantile and childhood forms should also be monitored carefully for increasing pressure within their skulls. Cranium stenosis, 
and scoliosis needs to be monitored regularly. Let's recap. Hypophosphatasia is characterized by defective bone mineralization and deficiency of the tissue nonspecific isoform of the enzyme alkaline phosphatase. HPP causes a mutation that doesn't allow alkaline phosphatase to bind to the osteoblast. Osteoblast builds bones during your skeleton remodeling process. People who has this rare metabolic disorder will likely have soft bones that can break with little to no trauma, kidney and fatigue. Bone pain can be so intense that a wheelchair is needed for immobility. Bone edema is possible that can mimic osteosarcoma. Bones can curve and deform over time. This may lead to trouble walking and fractures needing surgical intervention. Some patients may need the assistance of braces or medical devices to stay mobile. Fatigue from weak muscles and bone pain from micro fractures can make it hard to keep up with their peers. Early tooth loss in both primary and secondary teeth, severe perinatal will have failure to thrive, possible seizures. No cure has yet been found. Care of the symptoms by a team of doctors is recommended. Traditional treatments for rickets or osteoporosis should be avoided. These treatments could make symptoms worse. In conclusion hypophosphatasia is a progressively debilitating, rare metabolic bone disease. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.